because it's Tua, who's a good player, against Josh Allen, who's a great player. And it, it, it really does show not all games are the same. Now, we know the Super Bowl is bigger than regular season games, but even in the regular season, it shows you the power of division rivalry games. Buffalo and Miami, that's a rivalry. The cold weather, the warmest weather. The coldest weather, the warmest weather. Northern, down by the Keys. So Tua against the Bills has been bad. One in six, passer rating that's like Tebow-ish, 77. And it shows you the power of rivals. Jim Harbaugh was winning 10 games a year at Michigan, but he couldn't beat Ohio State. And literally media people, irresponsibly in my opinion, media people were like, get him out of Michigan, can't coach. <laughs> He'd won everywhere, San Diego, 49ers, standing at Michigan. He could not beat Ohio State, and people, journalists, lost their mind. Ryan Day now has the highest winning percentage in college football. He can't beat Michigan, and people are all over him. Jared Goff, with Sean McVay, was 42-20 and 20 as a starter and got to a Super Bowl. But do you know why Sean McVay bailed on him? You remember that game, don't you? Up north, he couldn't beat the Niners. And McVay and Shanahan have a very intense rivalry. He just couldn't beat the Niners. He was 42-20. and 20. He'd outdueled Mahomes on a Monday night football game. He could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody. 42-20 and 20 Super Bowl. Couldn't beat his rival. So the Tua's issue, and why this is a big game tonight for Tua. I know it's week two, but it's a big game. Not only can he not beat Buffalo, he's bad against Buffalo. And Josh Allen is unbelievable against Miami. So when you juxtapose the two on the same game, one sideline, one the other, Josh Allen looks bigger than ever and Tua looks smaller. And as a head coach, you have to beat your rival. Go back to the Harbaugh early days. It was insane watching the media bail on Harbaugh. And then what happened last year made this all worse and tonight so important for Tua. Do you remember last year? It was the final game, which is week 18. Tua was at home. Division title on the line. In the second half, Tua got five possessions. With that receiving core and that coach and those running backs, zero points. Tua, who's already small for a quarterback, looked even smaller. A standalone game tonight against Buffalo is not another game. I don't care that he dropped 70 against Denver. I don't care that he led the NFL in passing yards or gets MVP votes. He's got to win tonight. A small guy that looks smaller every time he faces his division rival, and here's Tua. When you know that another team has beaten you so often, has had so much success, does that eat away at you? Is it something you think about as you prep for that team, knowing the success they've had? Well, that, that's, that's going to be what's written out there until we do something about that. That's going to be the narrative that we can't beat the Bills. And until we do beat them and we beat them consistently, like none of that's going to change. Can't wait for tonight. I do like Miami to win. I'm, go I'm going against recent trending in history. I'm going to take Miami to win 27 to 20. Okay. Let's talk about this because I'm about to reject everything that Colin just said. I'm about to disarm this. Okay. Listen. Is there some truth, as I contradict myself right now, is there some truth to what Colin is saying? Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. But also, we're making this out to be significantly bigger than it really is. And I have the perfect example for this. Perfect example. And it's, a, and it's, and it's, it's two teams that I, that I often use as examples because they are the two of the most popular teams with the, arguably one of the top rivalries in all of the NFL. And it's the Dallas Cowboys and the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, the record is a little bit misleading for Dak versus the Cowboys because or Dak versus the Eagles because uh, there's been many times that Dak is playing not the main quarterback whether it was Jalen Hurts Carson Wentz whoever um, or you know it was Jalen Hurts his rookie year or uh, a year when um, you know I think when they went to the Super Bowl the one year it was like none of the starters were playing Jalen wasn't playing I think it was against like Gardner Minshew like all this 
But Dak's numbers are like, and and regardless of that, Dak, even if it is against Carson or or Jalen or whoever, like Dak does absolutely show up versus the Eagles, right? That's a big rival game. He knows it, right? Like it's it's probably his number one team that he wants to beat for sure, especially considering the Eagles have won a Super Bowl and went to another, and that's gonna that's that's gonna lead me into my my main point. That I think Dak, I think Dak is two and one against Jalen Hurts himself. But it doesn't matter. And when I, anytime I make these videos talking about it, whether it's the Eagles, the Cowboys, you know, whatever, um, Cowboys fans and Dak fans for that matter consistently, consistently bring up his record or their record versus the Eagles. And I'm like, it does not matter the eagles have the same number of super bowl appearances that dak prescott has just playoff wins in his entire career okay so the eagles keep winning playoff game after playoff game after playoff game getting to nfc championship games while the cowboys cannot while dak prescott can not so just winning these these division rivalry games although they matter and they're exciting and the fans love it at the end of the day, it only matters so much. Now, I think Nick brought this up. You know, Nick Wright brought this up um, the other day where maybe if you're not getting to the deep in the playoffs, you're not getting to the NFC Championship games, and you're not um, getting to the Super Bowls, then winning those divisional games matter so much more. But I don't know who in their right mind. Because I, I, when these Cowboy fans say this to me, I'm just like, I, 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 are you, do you understand that that means nothing? They hang their hat on it. It's like Dak hasn't gone to an NFC championship game once in his entire career, has won two playoff games, and has been embarrassed in a handful of them. And yet they'll say, yeah, but they beat the Eagles. And it's like, uh, I I guess so. Like, okay, he feasts in the NFC East. Like, that's a big deal that he's able to, to beat up on the Commanders and the Giants and 50% of the time the Eagles. Like, that's, that's what helps you sleep at night? That's what helps you get through, like, being embarrassed versus Green Bay or not being able to beat the 49ers? That's how you, like, accept the fact that the Eagles, you know, since Dak Prescott has been drafted, they won a Super Bowl and been to another? Your thing is, like, well, the Cowboys can beat them. Like, that's 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 what helps you? Like, I, I, don't, I don't see it. And hopefully I didn't lose too many Miami Dolphins fans as I'm talking about this because it's just, like, it doesn't matter if Tua and the Dolphins can start to get to AFC championship games. They can start winning or just winning playoff games. It doesn't even have to necessarily be AFC championship games. Although, of course, that's the, the goal. And to like, get to the Super Bowl and win a Super Bowl, it just doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter as much. It really doesn't. I think Tua needs to play good. And I made a, a video just yesterday about that. Tua absolutely needs to play good. He can't always just not show up. And I'm not saying that's what happens to him. But I'm just saying that like, he can't just consistently over the next X amount of years just not show up versus the Bills and prove that the Bills just overwhelm him or he can't take the moment, right? Whatever, however we want to kind of define it, right? That can't happen. But like, if the Bills kind of find a way to consistently win, then, you know, this game, but the Dolphins can have true levels of success winning playoff games, getting to the AFC championship, winning those, getting the Super Bowl, it doesn't really matter. It's like, congratulations. Like, I'm sure a lot of Eagles fans feel that way when, when Dallas Cowboys fans say, yeah, well, Dak Prescott, you know, he what did he do against the Eagles last year? And it's like, bro, what has Dak Prescott ever done in the playoffs, man? You guys haven't sniffed the Super Bowl in 20-some years. I think it's going to be like 30 years now. Like, come on. So I just think that this idea that like you have to win this game, you have to do that. Like I personally disagree with that, especially as long as the Dolphins continue to get better and grow as a team and Tua continues to get better and grow as a quarterback. It'll be like, that's fine, Bills. You love winning in the regular season. You, you This is your regular season Super Bowl. We're busy actually doing stuff in the playoffs when it matters. We're busy actually you know, beating the Kansas City Chiefs. You can't beat them. We can, you know, whatever it may be. So in a way, it is kind of a, a, a slight combination of what Nick 
was saying, but I think it's, um, I think we kind of see it too binary in a lot of ways where it's also like, if you don't win this game, you better win Super Bowls. And it's like, I don't think it's that extreme either. I think you just have to have playoff production at the minimum. Um, at least that's the way how I think it should be more accurately um, perceived. But yeah, I mean, you, you want to see the Dolphins play good. You want to see the Dolphins get momentum. You want to see the Dolphins be able to beat the Bills um, and not look like a little brother team within their own division. And again, at the end of the day, which is just a repeat of what I just said yesterday, and I think even just earlier in this clip right now, is just Tua needs to play good, though. He needs to look comfortable. He needs to look confident. He can't look overwhelmed. Because, yeah, if you look uncomfortable and not confident against a divisional rivalry, yes, that can get heightened and magnified and can make you feel uncomfortable moving forward because these are the mini playoff games within the regular season right outside of maybe like another team like who now have a rivalry like for instance like the eagles versus the chiefs the 49ers versus um uh i can't think of it i guess kind of the eagles as well these days um you know the cowboys and the 49ers um you know kind of maybe like usually against those consistent top teams that people just start to form rivalries against one another but outside of that it's like right these divisional games are kind of mini playoff games mini super bowls you know regular season um so i so i get it there, there is definitely this this heightened sense of you got to win you got to play big but i think a lot of it can be manufactured in a lot of ways um of course winning divisional games helps you indeed win the division you get a win the team the the team that you're trying to beat gets a loss right like so it does matter the stakes are uh heightened but i think the meaning the 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 meaning of it technically doesn't matter but i get from a fan perspective why it matters because it is at the end of the day if your team's not going to win a playoff game if your team's not going to get to the super bowl you really want to beat uh your divisional your team or you really want to beat the bills you really want to be able to beat the patriots right like so i get it from a pure fan perspective i get it you want to win the divisional games they're exciting they're fun you grew up your whole life hating those teams and cheering for your team and rooting against those other teams and like you want to see those teams suffer and you want your team to win so again from a 100 percent fan perspective i fully get it but to kind of just take a step back and the more that i look at the nfl from like a higher um you know uh view it's like let's i understand why we heighten it. i understand why we magnify it but we probably go a little too far so my more updated view on this is have fun with it have fun with the rivalries get excited and sure if you're in the comment section be like yeah well we beat you last year whatever like have fun with that enjoy it definitely you know still root against the other team and want to see them suffer and see your team win and want to see them be able to beat them but also understand if it doesn't go as planned it's it's the sky's not falling it's not the biggest deal and so we don't have to construct a narrative where it's like well if you can't beat the bills you need to be fired that's too extreme that's too much you don't got to move on a quarterback because of that right like that's just it's just it's a bridge too far for me but those are just my thoughts i would absolutely love to hear yours what do you guys all think do you think that the dolphins need to change the narrative especially tonight and Tua as well or do you think it's kind of kind of like what i was saying it's a it's a little bit more magnified than need be let me know in the comments below i read every single comment so whether you agree with me or disagree with me either way let's get in some discussions let's get in some fights but ultimately, let's just have some fun. And please do consider subscribing. We are building an amazing community here, and I would absolutely love to see you part of it. I want to build something that we all genuinely feel connected to. Something that we're really excited to be part of. I think we're well on our way to doing it. And please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, as it really does help with the visibility and the algorithm. Thank you so much, and see you next time.